What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch back here with another NFL video. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing the top 10 NFL players playing in the AFC Championship this Sunday. The two best teams in the AFC, the New England Patriots, the Kansas City Chiefs, they will suit up and play for a chance in the Super Bowl this Sunday. But who are the top 10 players playing in this game? I'm going to give you my list. Let me know what your list is in the comment section below. Also, hit the like button and subscribe for more NFL videos just like this. Kicking it off with number 10, the most clutch wide receiver in the NFL right now, Julian Edelman of the New England Patriots. Edelman is 7th all time in receiving yards, likely to move up to numbers 2 very soon, and he's 2nd on the reception list. Julian Edelman is tough. He comes up with the big catch every single time. And most of the time, it's going across the middle, getting punished by opposing corners, safeties, linebackers. It doesn't matter. Edelman will come up with the big snag. Edelman now has 83 catches for 1,000 yards and six touchdowns in only 13 games this season. He's been under the radar elite this year as the number one option for the Patriots passing game. Edelman is a great route runner. He's a great leader and he's a great receiver after the catch. This is why he's here at number 10. At number nine, Shaq Mason and Mitchell Schwartz, a tie between the two best linemen on each team. Shaq Mason, essential to the rushing attack of the New England Patriots, ranking first for guards by Pro Football Focus this season. Mitchell Schwartz, ranking fifth for tackles, also being named an All-Pro this year. Mason, essential to the rushing attack of the Patriots, a big dude who's also very good with his feet, great in the screen game, great in the power-pulling run game, and also an excellent pass blocker. Schwartz, an excellent all-around offensive tackle who's very smart, very crafty, and a veteran who's been doing it for a very long time. These two players are excellent and the two best offensive linemen in this game, ranking here at number nine. At number eight, the best player in the front seven for the New England Patriots, a player that's very underrated across the NFL. His name is Trey Flowers. Trey Flowers ranked fourth by Pro Football Focus amongst edge players, only behind Khalil Mack, J.J. Watt, and Calais Campbell. He is elite, but nobody really realizes it because he's asked to do so many different things, and he doesn't really have the sack numbers that a lot of casual NFL fans look at. Flowers is a great pass rusher, but he's not only a pass rusher. He's asked to stop the run and set the edge in New England's scheme. He's also asked to contain quarterbacks on occasion. And as you know, the Patriots are a very game plan specific team. So they asked Trey Flowers to do a lot of different things where it's not always about getting the sacks and getting after the quarterback. He can do that though, as we saw against the Chargers. He has the capability of dominating a game and getting after a quarterback. And when he's let loose, he's one of the best at his position at doing that. He can also do it from the edge, from the interior, and he's just a terror for all offensive linemen. But it's his versatility and his strength everywhere across the defensive line that really makes Trey Flowers a special defensive lineman. At number seven, D Ford. Pro Football Focus's number one graded pass rusher this season. He ranks sixth overall among edge players. 13 sacks, seven forced fumbles. Ford not only can get to the quarterback, but when he gets to the quarterback, he can turn the football over and get the ball back for his offense. Ford has a knack for getting those strips, for getting those forced fumbles. Not only does he have a knack for that, but his ability in a wide range of pass rushing moves is so special because he's fast, but he's also big, he's strong, and he can run you over, he can run past you, he can run around you with a move or two, and D Ford is a special pass rusher amongst all edge players that are a terror for every tackle to go against. He's also, in my opinion, more capable in run defense than he really gets credit for. At number six, Chris Jones of the Kansas City Chiefs. In my opinion, the best defensive player overall 
for the Chiefs. Chris Jones is also probably the second best interior defensive lineman as a pass rusher in the NFL. 15 and a half sacks, two forced fumbles. Those are crazy statistics. If it weren't for Aaron Donald having a ridiculous year this year, everybody would be talking about this guy. But the thing about the Chiefs is because their offense is so electric, they put up all these points, you need pass rushers like D Ford and Chris Jones to come through and get to that quarterback. And that's exactly what Jones has done this year. He's dominated centers, he's dominated guards, and he's overpowered them, used a little bit of savvy quickness, and gotten through to the quarterback more often than not. He also has the capability of dominating games and winning games for the Chiefs in the fourth quarter with his pass rush. So I'm going with Chris Jones at number six. At number five, Travis Kelsey, the best tight end in football at this moment. And Travis Kelsey, no, he's not the most complete tight end of all time, but he is an excellent receiver. He's a great route runner. He has great hands and he's kind of under the radar, really tough. I know he's kind of a pretty boy, but he's tough. He can take hits, and once he takes that hit, he has better capability than almost any tight end I've ever seen to take a hit and run and keep running at full stride. He has great speed for a tight end, great ability to make opposing linebackers, safeties miss in open field, which is incredible for a tall guy like him. 103 catches, 1,336 yards, and 10 touchdowns this year. Kelsey is the number one option, in my opinion, for the Chiefs offense. And the reason the engine that makes Mahomes really run, his number one target, his number one chain mover, I think is Travis Kelsey at number five. At number four, Stephon Gilmore. Gilmore is the best corner in football this year. He was ranked first by Pro Football Focus. And he is asked more of than any other elite corner in the league. He always goes against the number one wide receiver. And if he doesn't go against the number one wide receiver, he's put on an island by himself where there's nobody behind him but the end zone against the number two wide receiver because the Patriots want to double the number one. Gilmore is excellent in man-to-man -man coverage and really, really exceeds in the Patriots scheme. Gilmore is tall, he's fast, he is long, and he's really difficult for all types of receivers to handle because he's a perfect balance between a smaller type of receiver and a bigger type of receiver. He can not only cover a 5'10 shifty guy like Antonio Brown, but he can also cover a taller, longer guy like an Alshon Jeffrey. So he's in the middle where he has great length, but he also has good enough speed and quickness to catch up and maintain his man-to-man -man coverage and shut down ability. He's great in press coverage as well, and he's just an overall amazing man-to-man -man corner that is really underrated right now and is having a fantastic season and is probably the best defensive player and most consistent player on the Patriots defense. At number three, Tyreek Hill. In my opinion, at one point this season, I even said he was the best receiver in football. If he's not the best, he's in the top five. Tyreek Hill is just an ultimate game changer. He is a true weapon. He has speed like I've never seen before. He's the fastest NFL player I've ever seen in my life. 87 catches, 1,479 yards, and 12 touchdowns this year. Hill has the capability of taking a slant to the house, taking a screen to the house, a punt return, a kick return, a go to the house. It doesn't matter. He can run all the routes, and he is dangerous because not only do you have to play a certain type of way against him, but you always have to be aware of the ball just going over your head when Hill is at wide receiver. You never want to be pressing him at the line in one-on-one -on -one coverage because he's going to go right by you. You always have to worry about having a safety deep and he just impacts an entire defensive game plan, an entire offense and the way you can attack. And Tyreek Hill is a special player, not only because of what he can do with the football, what he can do to get open, but how he impacts everybody on the field around him. That's why he's number three. And number two, Thomas Edward Brady, the greatest of all time, the five-time Super Bowl champion, the four-time Super Bowl MVP, the three-time NFL MVP, the greatest football player maybe ever 
the greatest quarterback ever, the most clutch player ever, and yes, he's number two right now in this game. Of course, if his career was measured, he'd be number one, but Tom Brady is just amazing, and you could even argue he's number one in this game because of his history in the playoffs, but my number one is the MVP Patrick Mahomes, who's the third quarterback ever for to throw for 50 touchdowns, the second ever to throw for 50 touchdowns with 5,000 yards. Mahomes just makes special throws and in my opinion is revolutionizing the position of quarterback with all the angles he can throw the football from, all the different platforms he can throw the football from, and just the incredible spectacle that this player is, the creativity as a quarterback. He is an amazing player to watch and I hope his success continues. We will see this Sunday if he can take this Chiefs team to the promised land. Overall, this list was awesome to make because I feel like, yes, the Patriots do get overshadowed for the elite players they have on their team. We all know about the Chiefs elite players, but this was a well-balanced list. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this is as balanced as it seems here? Do you think it's maybe a little bit more swayed to the Chiefs or swayed to the Patriots? Also, who do you think has the better depth on their team? I know I'm talking about the top 10 players, but who has the better depth? Let me know in the comment section below and hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. More NFL content coming just like this. Thanks for watching. It's Mitch once again. Peace out.